Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 35th episode of Futariwa Precure Max Heart. So, let us jump in the episode. I'm not sure what's going on here, but Nohonoka and Nagisa both look kind of sad in this first frame, so hopefully nothing, nothing too bad, but yeah, let's just jump on in. 3, 2, 1, play. Oh yeah, we did the field trip stuff last episode. That was cool. That was a geisha. I know. But yeah, they were quite rude. Okay, so they were just nervous and impatient. Okay, gotcha. It's hard to explain without lying, <laughs> or you know, without telling the truth that we don't want to tell you. Pudi Q A, 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 Pudi T D Q A Q A, Futari Wa, Pudi Q A. Freaker. So yeah, I don't know what kind of excuse they're gonna use to convince Sensei that. He caught he needs to be here, but you know, we're here to find out. Your best, my best. Bet you know. Pudi Q A, Pudi Q A, Pudi Q A, Pudi Q A, Pudi T D Q A Q A, Futari Wa, Pudi Q A. So Sensei, about Hikari. More, more or less, yeah. We'll, we'll literally pay you any amount of money you ask. This is, this is important. Okay, I guess it all worked out. Oh, no, there's a butt. I cannot, no, in good conscience, promise that. Because pre gear business never ends. But we got through this one, that's the important thing. <laughs> yeah, that is the part we can't really elaborate on. <laughs> really? That was a. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, not the best excuse, but maybe it'll work. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. That was his biggest weakness. But yeah, when not get to laugh at you, it's gonna hurt. Because that was, yeah, just, yeah. I'm sure. Uh, what's your title? Memories. That's an interesting thing to bring up. Like Queen Memories or? <laughs> I miss Nagisa and Honoka. I'm gonna go visit them. Yeah. Yeah, we really did luck out by getting permission to stay for the night. <laughs> yeah. 
Yep. I don't know how that thing works. You keep saying that. I still don't fully understand it. I know it refers to him, but... But yeah, I still don't really understand. Maybe there's a truth about him? But I don't know. Maybe he's not what he appears to be and the truth is, you know, revealing him. <laughs> They're happy to be together. Uh, the truth is revealing, like, what he really is? I don't know. Let's see if we can fancy with the camera here. I have the moving background and all that. I don't know, but that really does sound sketchy. Does she ever look happy? Just the way he talks is annoying. How many times have you said that? How many times has it not been true? How many times have you said that? But yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, there's so many students. So many of them unimportant to the plot. It has a nice little hairpin, though. Not as nice as Honoka's, but... Never got my teacher's phone number when I was in school. <laughs> we got the triple treatment on Nagisa herself. <laughs> hey, I think there's a new girl here. We brought her Kohai with us. She missed us. You know, Azu and Yan should have done that in Kaon. <laughs> when the rest of the Kaon girls went to Kyoto, she should have just followed along. I can actually kind of see that happening too. So we finally got confirmation that this is Kyoto. I don't think we ever said it last episode. I might, might have just missed it, but... Did it say Tabe yet? What? Free samples. <laughs> of course, Nagisa wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> Leave some for everyone, not for everyone else. Nagisa will never leave. Yeah, now I guess I really need to chill a little bit. You're overdoing it. As her face is just covered. <laughs> cho, 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 Hazukashi. What a good guy he is. Ooh, a key holder. He is too kind. <sighs> They're pretty nice. Kyoto dolls. <laughs> I do like how we just have Pikai with us now. Just <laughs> I bet. <sighs> We're both freak here, so we gotta have some overlap, you know. 
on our feelings towards things. Some kind of guidebook. Sure. We're really halfway through the episode already? Almost, like wow. Really shouldn't run up the stairs, the little guy. But he's still running around un unchecked, unrestrained, unsupervised, uninhibited, unstoppable. Okay, look at she is watching. Never mind. Yeah, that could be a problem. I want to get just with a beaming smile. What's up? Okay, what exactly am I looking at? Just a road. I don't. I don't quite get it. I hear footsteps. Or... Okay, well, I see that. Well, don't get hit by it. <laughs> I guess that's something to be excited about. I... Elementary schooler with their red backpack. Ooh, Togetsu Bridge. I wish I could be this excited about anything in life. Oh, okay. We're doing this. This could be cool. All three of you are princesses. And one of you is a queen. As they're pulled by Raiden. Okay, pretty cool animation with this with the light the god rays, we wanna call them. The sunlight through the leaves, you know, reflection. She made it. Well, we'll happily be pulled by you any day. Okay, don't go so fast, you're gonna hurt her. I can so picture her letting go of that hand and just smacking against the stairs. I am well aware. <laughs> so we're gonna be attacked by a bad guy pretty soon, right? That's the magic of a place like this, yeah. Is that a Hartiel voice? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that one. Grow soon. The fat one. Well, no, guess so. You are there. Oh, that was loud. Yeah, it's about time. As always, he's getting into it. Oh, 
But it's not, though. Oh, he's gonna summon the tiger. Biako. Oh, damn. I mean, it's not as bad as a freaking toad from last time. Okay, I love the lack of hesitation. Let's transform. We even got Hikari here, so. <sighs> Gotta watch out for Gurudumon's attack. Did she tank it? Wow, they actually did. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> That's actually not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, they're, 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 they guess we're getting stronger. Because they don't usually do that to an enemy. That one that big. Is it truth here? Okay, hopefully we don't need Hikari's help, because she's just leaving. <laughs> Unless they're going to have a meeting between the truth and Hikari. Just the two of them, most likely. At first, that sound was like a flapping wing sound, but I guess not. I don't know, but um, we're gonna get lost if we just keep running like this. And we're probably already lost. Looks like we just went into like horror movie territory, which means, yeah, he's gonna be here. Oh, that is so scary. Uh, the told you horror movie. If he says he wants to play, don't listen. Yeah, something's happening. Is what we're worried about. Him and his Pokemon. Something is happening. Well, the hard deal already said that. Yeah, he's close. Now stop him and throw him. Marble screw. <laughs> oh, I don't usually, I don't usually do it so quickly. It's kind of funny. Are they going to run away now? It was like a fake out. <laughs> that was actually really good. <laughs> That's why it was so quick. <laughs> It's like marble screw. Okay, he's run away. Let's go. <laughs> that was really good, actually. <sighs> More importantly, this is still an issue. Because <sighs> we don't know what's gonna happen if they if they yeah get together. Each of their respective legal guardians catching them. This was not an all, at all our fault. He came to where we were at. You let him out of the house. You have no room to blame us for any of this. Thank you. <laughs> he is so salty. What's funny though is now he can do a real marble screw and he'll doubt himself whether it's real or not and he might accidentally get hit by it because he didn't want to dodge because he didn't want to look silly again. Uh, that's, that's actually a pretty big brain play. Oof, we're not really giving much time here. Oh no, don't eat Honoka! Oof, right to the back of the head, that's gotta hurt. I'm sorry to feel a little bad for the kitty. It just keeps getting abused, but it is a bad guy, so. 
A little bit banged up there. That's why I wear a helmet. <sighs> Sorry, I keep yawning, but I am a little bit tired. <sighs> That tiger has just been so, like, cartoonish, for lack of a better term. Marble screw! For real this time. Yeah, that fake marble screw might have been one of the top 10 funniest things in the show so far. Spark! No, you can't. It's just too much for you to handle. The tiger, though, yeah, definitely gonna get wiped out. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. I think you guys are tuckered out. Try battling a giant tiger. Yeah, I get it. I'm gonna go back to your boring daily grind of a life. Nagisa. Uh... Land of the rising sun. Yeah, roll credits. I do have a new camera. Stretching, man, I can feel good sometimes. And then just a preview, right? So yeah, that was the 35th episode of Utariwa Pre-Gear Max Heart. And this episode, we are continuing to enjoy our field trip to Kyoto. Everyone having a pretty pretty good time. We, of course, had to make some excuse, excuses to get Hikari to be allowed to stay. I love Honoka trying to come up with the best excuse she could, but like, it's not great. It had the obvious plot hole of being like, could have just given it to her at school and all that, right? She didn't need to come all the way here, but... I want to gotta come up with something, but I guess a laugh matter is pretty, pretty great. But we worked things out, you know. The our four mascot characters, you know, they all reunited with each other and was pretty. They were all pretty excited. That was cute. But we do have the the truth. The child uh, causing trouble because he got out of the house and he finally ran into Hikari. And I still don't understand exactly what happens, but there's some kind of magical reaction upon them being in close proximity to each other. So. Yeah, so far nothing really big has happened as a result of that, really. It just 
something's clearly going on. I do like how, you know, a couple of the friends were like, is, is there a new girl here now? But yeah, as she just stands there with that Hikari smile on her face. But yeah, Nagisa enjoying all the food, being a glutton as usual. Riding around on the thingy. Just enjoying Kyoto again, right, for the most part. Up until the bad guy's attacked, but we nothing we can't handle with a fake marble screw. So we, we, we got it dealt with. Picked up the tiger, threw it, you know. But, yeah, the, the fake marble screw was definitely the highlight of the episode without, without question. But pretty good stuff all around. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.